Hey everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today I was just working on this Nintendo GameCube, doing a full cleanup and restoration. Everything is looking pretty much perfect on here right now. But as I was working on the bottom side where the ports are located, I remember that just last week somebody emailed me asking what all the ports are used for underneath your GameCube. Because most of us just keep them covered and never really use them for anything. So I figure while I have this out, let me flip this over. I'll show you guys the three ports located on the underside of the Nintendo GameCube. And I'll show you what each of the uses are for. So let's take a closer look. All right, so here we have our Jet Black Nintendo GameCube console. Really in excellent condition here. No discoloration. Uh, very minor wear and tear on here. You really have to get really up close and personal to find anything wrong with this at all. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm just going to throw down this microfiber towel just so I don't scratch the top on the desktop here. But you can see we have three ports here. We have port one, port two, and then our high speed port up here at the top. So we'll start with port one. There's a pinch tab on here on the top and bottom. Just pinch them together, pick it right off. And this is actually used for internet connection back then. So you gotta remember the way that we connect to the internet nearly 20 years ago is very different to how we connect to the internet today. So we had a dial-up version and a broadband version. The side is open. That would be where once we put the attachment in place and make the connection here, over here is where we would actually be able to put in our telephone line if we were using dial-up. Um, and that actually looked like what you see right here on your screen connected right into place. So we'll put the top back on here. Nobody's really gonna be uh, diving into this port. I think nowadays our way of connecting to the internet is just so different. So we'll go over to port two, and this was used for developers. It only has one pinch tab right here, and just lift it towards you, comes right out. And you can see your connection right there. Side is a lower profile, but still have the um, access point here on the side. And this was used for the Pro DG and Pro DG Plus. And again, this was a developer tool. So it enabled you to actually build, debug, view, and optimize games. So not typically what a consumer would be doing with it, but that's more for developers. And these ports, actually, even the internet ports, are just extremely rare and hard to come by today. So we're gonna pop that back on, and we're gonna go into our high speed port up here. And we're just gonna lift that pinch tab slide it out you can see connections right there and also have that side wide open so this was actually used for the game boy player base so game boy player base looks like exactly what you see on the screen right now it gets mounted underneath your gamecube console and that along with the disc that comes with it which would go into your gamecube's disc drive would enable you to play game boy games so it's a really cool attachment and again, extremely rare to come by these days. So I'm gonna just slide this back in. And that is exactly what all three of these ports are used for underneath your GameCube. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. Hopefully this was informative for you and answered any questions that anybody might have had on the ports and their uses underneath your GameCube console. If you're interested in picking up a GameCube, be sure to hit me up on the Retro Gaming Guy website, www.retrogamingguy.com. I have a bunch of these available at the time of this video, of course. Inventory is always uh, up and down and in and out, but that's gonna do it for this video today. You know the drill, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video here and you found it interesting or helpful in any way. And then of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.